I recently came across a YouTube channel called Psychotic, and honestly, it's blowing my mind. Their video style is absolutely crushing it, part of a rising trend that's gaining serious momentum. What's wild is that the channel only launched three months ago, this past January, yet it has already pulled in over 5 million views and 154,000 subscribers. According to Social Blade, this channel pulled in over 2.2 million views in just the last 30 days, and it's already making an estimated of $11,000 a month. Sounds too good to be true, right? But just look at how often they're posting every single day. And even though this channel's still brand new, they've already cranked out 103 uploads. And that's exactly what makes this niche so exciting. You're not stuck spending days editing one video. It's quick, efficient, and actually doable even if you're busy. Whether you're a student, working a 9 to 5, or just trying to squeeze this into an already packed schedule, it fits. But here's the real game changer. I'm going to break down exactly how they're doing it, step by step. And more importantly, how you can take their blueprint and build your own channel from scratch. If you're looking for a side hustle to start this year, a side hustle that's low cost, beginner friendly, and extremely scalable, this is it. And don't worry if you know nothing about psychology or philosophy. I've got you covered. I'll give you custom prompts that'll guide you every step of the way. And just to prove this isn't some theory, I'll show you a short demo I put together using the exact same system. After years of tearing down illusions, facing your fears, shedding layer after layer of borrowed identity, you finally arrive at the raw core of yourself. There is no applause here, no chorus of angels, no grand revelation shouted from the heavens. Just silence, terrible, beautiful silence. And then, the ultimate truth surfaces, quiet but undeniable. There is no final answer. I could walk you through how to set up a YouTube channel, but let's be honest, you probably already know the basics. If not, just drop a comment and I'll whip up a quick video to cover it. So instead, let's jump straight into step one, coming up with content ideas. I've put together a Google Doc packed with prompt templates to get you started. You'll find the link in the description. Once you open it, scroll down to the section labeled Psych Prompt. Copy everything under that, and drop it into your favorite AI writing tool. I'm using ChatGPT for this part, but feel free to tweak the prompt however you like. I'm keeping it simple and using it as is. Just hit generate, and within seconds, you'll have a list of solid video ideas to work with. Scroll through the list, pick one that stands out to you, or hit regenerate if nothing clicks right away. Now that you've picked a topic, it's time to turn it into a script. Jump back to the doc, find the section labeled the script, and paste it into chat GPT. Just swap out the placeholder with your topic, and tweak the word count if you want. The default is 3100 to 4000 words, which works perfectly for this format. Quick heads up, the script is broken into 5 parts so you'll need to type next after each section finishes to keep it going. Each chunk is around 700 words, straight to the point, no fluff. Alright, go ahead and hit enter to generate the first part of your script. Once that section is done, just type next and let ChatGPT handle the rest. Keep repeating that until you've got all five sections completed. One last thing to keep in mind, if you watch the videos from the channel we're modeling, you'll notice they always start with a philosophical quote on screen. It's not part of the voiceover, but it does set the tone. I've made this easy for you. Just go back to the Google Doc, copy the quote prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT. No need to change anything, just hit enter and let it generate a powerful quote for your video. Next up, let's get your voiceover sorted. I don't want you spending money on this, so we're using one of the best free options out there, ClipChamp. Of course, if you already have a favorite voice generator, feel free to use that instead. To get started in ClipChamp, create a new project, then click on Record and Create. Scroll down, and select text to speech. Set the language to English, and start browsing the voice options. Look for a voice that's deep, calm, and reflective. It should align with the introspective tone of your content. Once you've found the right fit, paste your script into the box, hit generate, and your voiceover will be ready in no time. Now that your voiceover is done, it's time to generate the visuals for your video. Head back to the Google Doc, copy the next image prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT. This time, be sure to include how many image prompts you need, say, 20, and don't forget to add your video topic. Then just hit enter, and ChatGPT will do the rest. Next, head over to your preferred image generator. You can use Leonardo AI, or whatever tool you're most comfortable with. For this project, I'll be using Google ImageFX. Set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, ideal for long-form 
form content paste in the prompts chat GPT gave you. Then, click generate, and repeat the process for all your image prompts. In just about 5 minutes, you'll have a complete set of visuals ready to go. Take a look at everything we've created. How cool do these images look? Finally, it's time to bring everything together. Yes, video editing. I recommend using CapCut because it's free and beginner friendly, but feel free to use any video editor you prefer. For this project, I'll be using CapCut. Don't worry, this type of video is very simple to create. First, let's work on the text effect at the beginning of the video. Select text and drag the default text onto the video timeline. Then, copy the quote from ChatGPT and paste it into the text box. Now, increase the font size and adjust the scale to 85% so the text fits nicely. To add a typing animation, click on Animation, select Typing, and set the duration to 3.0 seconds. Now let's add the typing sound. Click on Audio, then go to Sound Effects and search for Typing. Pick the one you like. Drag it onto the timeline, and crop it to match the duration of the text animation. Import all the generated images, videos, and the voiceover. Drag and drop the voiceover onto the timeline. Now trim out any long, unnecessary pauses. AI-generated voices sometimes include awkward gaps. However, make sure to keep the natural pauses so the narration still sounds smooth and human-like. Keep playing it back as you edit to ensure everything flows naturally. Now drag and drop your images into the timeline, and adjust them to match the voiceover. Next, let's add transitions. Click on the Transitions tab and choose the Blink Transition, just like the channel we're modeling. We also want to add a zoom in and zoom out effect to bring the visuals to life. Click on Animation, then apply the zoom effect at the start of each image. Set the duration to somewhere between 1.5 and 3 seconds. Then, for the end of the image, add the zoom out animation and set the duration between 1 and 2 seconds. Make sure everything blends smoothly with the video. Now let's add some subtle motion for extra engagement. Select your image, move the playhead to the beginning, and add a keyframe. Slightly scale the image up. Move the playhead to the middle, and set the scale back to the original size. Finally, Go to the end of the clip and slightly increase the scale again. This creates a gentle motion effect that helps keep viewers engaged. Repeat this process for all your images and video clips, making sure they align nicely with the voiceover. Next, let's apply the film frame effect to match the style of the reference channel. Click on Effects, search for Film Frame, and drag the first option onto the video timeline. Make sure it spans the entire video. Add an adjustment layer next. Drag and drop it onto your timeline, then tweak the settings until you get the desired cinematic look. Now let's make the transitions pop with sound effects. Go to Audio, then Sound Effects, and search for Camera. Choose one you like, and drag it onto the timeline to match each blink transition. This adds a nice professional touch. Once that's done, it's time to add some background music. Use the YouTube Audio Library, Chosik or another royalty-free source. Look for something calm and relaxing. It fits this style of video really well. After downloading your music, import it into CapCut, then drag it onto the timeline. Position it just after the opening quote and trim any excess. Don't forget to fade it out at the end and lower the volume so it doesn't overpower the voiceover. Now let's add captions. Click on Captions, then select Auto Captions, and hit Generate. Once the captions are created, it's time to style them. Click on Templates and choose one that fits your video's vibe. I'm going with this particular template because it closely matches the look of the channel we're modeling. You can also adjust the font size so it fits nicely on screen and feel free to change the font color to suit your aesthetic. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and export the video for the best quality, exported in 4K resolution. Finally, let's wrap it up with the thumbnail. This is key to getting clicks, and the channel we're modeling uses simple but effective thumbnails. They use an image with text overlaid on top to create the thumbnail, so we'll do the same. First, we need an image. Head back to the prompt document and copy the thumbnail prompt. Then, go to the same chat GPT chat where you created your script and paste the prompt. Don't forget to replace the placeholder with your video topic, then hit enter and let ChatGPT generate a thumbnail prompt for you. Next, open Google Image FX and paste in the prompt to generate your thumbnail image. Click generate, and you'll have your image. Now we need the text that will go on top of the image. Go back to the prompt doc, copy the thumbnail title prompt, and paste it into ChatGPT, again, replacing the placeholder with your topic. Let ChatGPT create a compelling title for your thumbnail. Now let's create the thumbnail. Head over to your favorite photo editor, either Photoshop or Canva. For this tutorial, I'll be using Canva. Start by creating a new design. Click on File, then select Create New Design. Choose Custom Size. Set the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. And leave the units as pixels, PX. Then click Create New Design. Next, 
drag and drop the thumbnail image we generated earlier into Canva. Stretch it out to cover the entire canvas. Now we'll add a shape to help the text stand out. Click on Elements, select the square, and drag it onto the canvas. Resize and position it at the top of the design. Then, add the title text we generated in ChatGPT. Choose a font that fits your brand or the channel's vibe. Adjust the font size to fit properly, and set the color to black. Finally, click on Transparency and adjust it so the background image slightly shows through, creating a clean, modern look.